Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out my channel and today we're going to be working on a 97 F250. Now this isn't the new body style, this is the old body style, the OBS. And what we're going to be doing today is changing the bushings for the camber caster on this truck. It's a two wheel drive and I see a lot of videos for four wheel drive, not too many for two wheel drive. It's a quick process and it will require you to do an alignment after the fact because I'm not going to set it up correctly I'm just going to put it in there and have it done so when I do take it to the alignment shop they can change the caster setting whenever I bring it in here's the truck here and again it's an old body style this is an HD but it's not going to make a difference this will also work for F-150s and F-350s that are two-wheel drive now to give you an idea if I was to have the shop do this and do the alignment it would cost roughly three hundred and twenty dollars somewhere in that neighborhood However, with me doing it, it's going to cost roughly about $35 a piece, $30 a piece for the bushings that are needed. So $70 in parts, and then the labor that's required here, and then once I take it to the shop, the alignment will only cost me $60, so I'm saving quite a bit of money there. I mean, I'm going to be around $150 total. First thing you're going to do is chalk the back tires of your vehicle so it doesn't move. You're going to put the truck up on jack stands and you're going to remove the front tires. Now I'm just going to be working on one side so let's get that done and show you what it looks like. This is a disclaimer. This is a procedure that I do on my vehicles. This isn't possibly the exact correct procedure. This is the way that I will get it done. This is not meant to be a safety video on proper safety protocol and glasses and gloves and all that good stuff this is just the way that I remove these bushings and replace them so please keep your comments to yourself about how I should have done this or that if you want to make comments on how things should be done the best thing you can do is do your own video showing it the way you do it right now I don't see much for videos online explaining this process so that's why I'm showing how to get it done. So you can see here that I have it jacked up. Of course, you're going to need a pretty tall jack. I've got a little block there. And then I also have my jack stand that it's let down on to some extent too. So I have two contact points. Um, I do have a, a small wheel chalk back there, but I have another larger one on the other side underneath the other tire. So this is what we're trying to get at right here and I'm going to try to keep the shadow off of it it's this piece right here and basically what you have to do at this point is get this bolt loose and out so I'm going to have to put a wrench on this side most likely and uh, an impact on this side and get this bolt out once that's out we're going to uh, spread this a little bit to make this a little bit easier to come off now they're going to be corroded, they're going to be rusted, they're going to be chemically welded possibly in here. So expect to use some force to get them out. If they pop right out, good for you. If you live in a really dry climate where you don't have to have salt on the roads like we do here in Ohio, good for you. Uh, but still, it's going to be a little bit of work to get this out. So let's go ahead and work on this bolt first and I will pull it out and show you what it looks like. So I got the bolt out here. See it's a little bit rusty, but it's doing the job. And as I was loosening it, I could see that the I-beam was spreading, uh, loosening things up, so that's a good sign. And on this one, yours may be different, it was 19 millimeter uh, that I needed for both ends. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hammer and I'm going to hit on either side here just to loosen things up. And I'm going to put a cold chisel in this part here and uh, hammer it down and spread that out a little bit more I'll show you what that looks like so I have you up on the coil spring perch um, so you're inside the fender well looking down hopefully I don't lose you off there when I start hammering but this is all I do really for this is give it a couple taps don't hit your brake line make sure you don't hit anything over here Okay, so that just kind of breaks everything loose. Then what you're going to do is get a chisel and put it down in that crack. Sorry about the shadows, I hope you can still see. And then we're going to uh, help it spread out. And now at this point, we're wanting that to come loose. 
and there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can get a puller and try to pull it off. In my case, I'm just going to try to get underneath of it, catch a lip, and try to hammer it up or pry it up. Now, most people at this point, they're doing other work. They might be replacing both their ball joints. They might be trying to remove their spindle completely. That would require the caliper to come off and the you know supported and all that stuff and, and most of this wouldn't be in the way but in my case I'm leaving all this on I'm going to attempt to get it off this way but I may have to take the caliper off if I can't get good leverage on this now in my case I'm just taking a, a short pry bar you can see what it looks like here and uh, just hitting it underneath the head kind of pushing it down you can see it's starting to move because quite frankly it, it's pretty loose as it is um, yeah, a lot of rusted trucks, really rusty trucks, this is a much more drawn out process. Alright, so that's it. You can see it's loose and uh, doesn't look too bad. So here's the parts they just came in it's definitely a little bit later in the day from when I first started the video what we're going to do though since we're going to take it to an alignment shop is I'm just going to put it in the neutral position which it says that there's a letter N on this inner ring that you can't see I mean it's pretty darn hard to see it but this N has to be lined up with this slot here and there's two slots uh, one that's here, one's on the inside. We, we just want it to the middle front. And it basically goes in just like that. So I'm going to uh, tap this down into position. And then at that point, I'll reinstall the bolt, tighten it all down, and then reverse the procedure as far as putting the wheel back on. Uh, the lug nuts on this thing get torqued at 140 foot pounds. So if you have an old body style F250, with eight lug rims like I do. You're looking at 140 foot-pounds uh, to get the lug nuts retightened. Um, but yeah, this is the position that it shows in the instructions. And if you want to try to do the alignment yourself and you know what the truck currently is, um, it tells you step by step uh, which way to turn this and this one. There are two different ones that one fits inside the other that allows it to spin and place the caster correct and the camber. What I was concerned with was damaging this whenever I was pounding it back in. So what you can do is just use your old adjustment bushing, turn it upside down, put it on top, and then just hit it with a hammer. I've got a little mini sledge here, and it positioned it perfect. Um, you know, just a, a few hits, and it put it right where it needed to be. So that's all good. <sighs> I want to make sure I keep that clean for the alignment shop. Okay, so now that that is pretty much straightened out, I will pull this chisel out and I'm going to clean up that bolt, which is pretty rusty, uh, and then go ahead and lubricate it a little bit and then run it in. So whenever the guys go to take it off at the shop, they don't have any problems. So I run that on my wire wheel real quick, made it look a little bit better, and then uh, we're just putting it back in through the uh, pinch joint. And now it's just a matter of tightening it up. I'm going to get it started and then grab the impact. Now, as far as what I've done here, you don't need an impact. This isn't overly tight. It's just enough to pinch that ball joint. And really, if you need to break it loose, as long as it's not rusty, regular wrenches will work just fine. All right, so that should do it good for the shop. Uh, they'll be able to break that loose, no problem, and do the adjustments that's needed to get this thing dialed in. So I just have it set up as neutral right now. Um, probably not going to be a real bad thing as far as driving it. I'm going to just drive it tomorrow and take it down to the shop, and that will be it. I won't do any more driving other than that. So like I did mention, you could do the adjustments yourself. Here's the chart. Uh, basically you follow along the chart it tells you camber caster and what letters you need to set it at to make the adjustment for your vehicle of course this is the instructions here to tell you how to set it up neutral and that's the way I've got it right now as neutral so we're in pretty good shape of course if you have a four-wheel drive it's going to be a little different 
and this is the 4x2 chart on the back sides of the 4x4 chart. So these are the little parts right here and again I'm gonna have the links down below click the link it'll take you right to these and this will be for your old body style F-150 two-wheel drive and it will cover quite a few other ones other than just 94 to 97 in this body style it'll cover some that are earlier too and of course it'll also cover uh, other vehicles that I don't necessarily know right off the top of my head. That's pretty relatively easy to do. Again, rust is going to be your enemy and it's going to make things a lot more difficult. You don't need to have impact tools to do what I just did. Uh, it doesn't make it necessarily any easier, but it makes it quicker for me. I'm going to put my tire and wheel on, torque down the lug nuts, and then do the passenger side. I'm going to take this to the shop tomorrow, drop it off, let them get the alignment straightened out, and hopefully I'll be good to go. I hope this helped out, and I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.